So I'm doing a quick uh, review. Uh, the bike has a little bit under 700 miles. I think I have like 690 miles or so. I just came back from a 40 mile ride. The last time I did a monkey video, I had, uh, let's see, I, I cleaned and adjusted the chain and also I did a valve check and the valve check was, uh, or a valve adjustment I should say. The valves were uh, too tight. They were definitely too tight beyond spec. So anyways, uh, just did the ride and it was definitely quieter and smoother and usually the chain it's it's you know when the chain is dirty and such or or uh, or whatever uh, It's usually noisier and, uh, and and a little bit rougher So so that's part of the you know, quieter and smoother But the other thing was I noticed after the valve adjustment was that the engine actually got smoother as well uh, Just sitting there idling the engine was smoother and you know it didn't vibrate as much uh, it was a little quieter and riding it was also a little bit smoother and quieter as well uh, and the main thing was that it was actually faster, which surprised me. Uh, so I, you know, I did my regular test loop, um, and it was actually uh, I actually got this, the bike to go faster than I've ever had before. Uh, definitely on the flats, and also a, a little bit of a downhill as well. Uh, so the, I think the previously. The fastest I've ever gone on this was I think 61 and that was like a steep downhill or somewhat of a steep downhill and what I just did on my test loop uh, the part where I got to uh, 62 it wasn't a steep downhill it was like uh, it was just a very gradual downhill uh, pretty short it was actually able to get to 62 uh, and going up you know climbing up that same spot it was uh, it was going fa up that spot faster stronger than it ever did before so the valve adjustment definitely helped. So as far as you know, break in, I think the bike is pretty much broken in for the most part. Um, I mean, it could maybe uh, potentially uh, break in a little bit more. I mean, they usually, you know, take a few thousand miles to fully, fully break in. But you know, I've been riding, you know, the first hundred miles or so, I, you know, I took it kind of easy. Well, the first fifty miles or so, I took it kind of easy. Then after hundred miles, uh, I started to ride it, you know, pretty hard. Um, basically, I started to ride it how I would normally usually ride it uh, so pretty hard not real real hard but pretty hard uh, and only you know after a few oil changes they start to smooth it out and everything basically everything's smooth now the clutch is smooth the uh, shifting is smooth everything's really smooth now uh, so everything feels you know very very smooth very quiet um, let's see what else about this thing so I'm pretty much done the only thing I need to do is put in my uh, my slipper clutch I haven't put it in yet because you know when you saw the video what, that I did I'm not sure if I posted it up actually uh, I can't remember I posted it up uh, the tool I have wasn't you know it wasn't deep enough so I had to order another tool so I'm gonna wait uh, because you know I had taken the cover off and I had to fill in new oil so it still has pretty fresh oil in there you know that was around uh, 600 miles or so I think it was uh, maybe a little bit over 600 miles when I did that, uh, so so I don't want to open that up again and waste the oil. So I'm gonna probably wait until like a thousand miles before I put in the slip clutch. But as is right now, uh, the clutch is really smooth. Uh, and I, you know, going up to down the mountain and checking the engine braking and and downshifting and such, I find that it probably I don't think it even uh, uh, might be much of a difference with the slip clutch on there. Um, but you know, I'm gonna put it on anyways just because you know I already ordered it and stuff. So, uh, so, so it should be even smoother with those downshifts <clears throat> with the zip clutch. Um, yeah, so I'm, so I'm uh, pretty much done with the bike. I just need to put in the slipper clutch, and uh, another thing is I'm gonna change the gearing because I'm gonna put on street tires because right now it's you know it's these the, it's the stock the stock tires and they're kind of dual sport tires. I'm gonna put on actual street tires. Um, so, so the street tires size tires. Or an inch smaller in diameter, so I had to basically also compensate for the front and rear sprocket uh, to make it as close as to uh, to stock as possible. Uh, even then, it's still I think it's gonna be like two percent uh, shorter gearing, overall gearing than than uh, than the stock is gonna be, which is actually will work pretty good because because as is right now with this you know as set up right now um, the the bike doesn't reach top speed. You know, it doesn't basically in fourth gear. It doesn't really hit the rev limiter. I mean, you could hit the rev limiter going downhill and stuff, but in in a flat section, it doesn't hit it. And for sure, no way it's gonna hit it in the wind. So, 
so I, in some ways that might be a good thing but uh, um, but I think it's, this gear the gearing is a little bit tall and I was looking at, at the gearing from this with the Grom and internally the transmission has the same gearing as the, the monkey you know the outside sprockets are the same gear so everything's the same only thing is the Grom has has the smaller tires you know those the same tires I'm gonna put on here the three tires and those tires are you know about an uh, inch smaller in diameter um, so so people I think reach the rev limit with the Grom stock but but not with the monkey uh, because you know because of the taller taller tires the bigger diameter tires uh, so so once I put those three tires on this this the gearing wise anyways it will be exactly identical to the Grom um, so that wouldn't be bad at all I don't think so and I think with all the gearing thing I calculated it was gonna be about two percent shorter you know with the sprocket change and the tire change it's gonna be two percent shorter than the um, than what it is right now um, yeah so so this is so I'm having fun with this bike so that's I think that's about the only thing I'm gonna I have left to do is uh, put in my stipple clutch and tires and, and play with the, you know change the gearing a little bit everything else is running really well so I'm really enjoying it so this this bike is gonna be a keeper I'm, I'm keeping this bike forever um, yeah you know when I'm 90 years old uh, I'm still gonna be riding this damn thing you know so yeah all right thanks for watching